Good evening, everybody. The, I'm going to show you this cool map in a second, and it's going to look like our video is sponsored by New Balance, but it's not as of yet. <laughs> we'll let you know if they become sponsored by New Balance. Okay. But uh, we're at Saratoga Springs because we haven't been here in a while, and it's beautiful out. It's like 60. It's so nice out. And Sarah's going to relax and read a book because she already did her workout. And even though I said I was going to rest yesterday and I didn't rest yesterday, and I said I was going to rest today, I'm going to go on a light run because it's not every day that we say we're going to go running in Disney World. And it's like, I feel like I'm going to have like a, a ha, like an epiphany moment. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're just going to hang out at Saratoga Springs tonight. It's beautiful. Bye. Out. Bye. So here we are at Saratoga Springs. There's Sarah. She's going over there to the main main area in the lobby, I think, or somewhere. She might find a bench. But here's the main pool. Main building check-in is over there. Bus stops. And here is what the few, I think there's like six or seven of these. I'll find some information to be exact. But they have a bunch of these New Balance running trails. So we've got a, a 0.8 mile path and a 1.4 distance map. And I don't know if I'm going to adhere to the, the map exactly. It pretty much goes around this lake. Not that one, but the one that's over there, the big, big one goes around it from here and then you come back to here if you want to do the 0.8 or go around this extra bit if you want to do the 1.4 um, let's see how I feel and then I'm gonna stop to get some shots so I don't know if it'll be a, a 1.4 or a 2 mile night but I'm enjoying it it's just, this should be good it's a beautiful night and I'm I actually might skip this and go this way because this is Disney Springs and that would be cool looking so I might just do this around maybe up here to Disney Springs and back and see what my my cell phone says because I'm gonna use my cell phone tracker now that I've rambled extremely long there you go look at the Mickey heads that's a pretty good view to have during a run. I did more than I expected. I did a, a quick five All right. I gotta say, uh, Saratoga Springs, bigger than I remembered, and uh, more confusing than the run. The first mile and a half, I was, and two miles, I was like, I know where I'm going. After the second mile, I was like, I feel good. And you know what, let me just push for a 5K. And I was like, I'm gonna head back to Disney Springs so I can just finish there. I think I made two turns I wasn't supposed to and ended up like by the Rudy Creek Fire Department. So I was like, I, I am almost out of the resort property line. And I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go back. I'm just gonna turn around. So I found out where I was going, but I decided to run a quick 5K because I know I'm not working out tomorrow because we're going to Moonlight Magic. So we're gonna be out late and up late. But I feel good. I know I look like a mess, but if you read the comments, I don't know how many of you actually read the comments. My friend Isabel used to work at the Disney store, left a, a sweet comment. She remembered with these vlogs of me running, she goes, I remember you used to say we worked together. Now me and Isabel worked together like four years ago, so just shows how awesome she is that she remembers this. But Sarah's dad, like I, I have always liked running, but I get my most pride and, and like mental fuel for running for like because of Sarah's dad. He used to run like crazy, he ran like five marathons, he was the best runner. And when I first started dating Sarah, it was nine years ago, I was just, as, I was probably more out of shape then as I am now. And uh, I just used to be over there, hanging out, doing homework, watching movies, and Sarah said, out of the blue, come home, long day at work, but I'm gonna go run a quick 5K. And to me, who never ran and who never did any sports, I was like, that's insane. And he would come back like 35 minutes later and be like, all right, what do you guys want to do? Like, you want to go play? You want to go watch a movie? You want to go out to eat or something? Like, how is he alive still? How is he alive? So, we used to say that a lot around the house, and we still do. And that was like, that's my go-to motto, really. When, I, like, when I think of like runs like today, and I also always say, run as far as you can away from home, because if you want to run four miles, just push yourself to run two miles directly away from home, because 
after you run those two, you gotta get home. You can't not go home, so then you gotta go two miles back. But I just had the feeling, I felt like, you know, maybe Sarah's dad was with me on this run tonight because I was just like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run a quick 5K, and I did. But now I have to find my wife because she went off with a book somewhere and I should probably go find her. I found Welcome Sarah! To our family. Hey, that's my song. You can share it with me. We sing it on this path. We did. We're just walking around Saratoga Springs. I found Sarah. I feel much cooler and I'm very hungry. Hungry? Yeah. Well, have we even said what we're doing tonight? The goal is to get to go to Pop Century because the inner the rumor on the interwebs is that they sell Dole Whips now. And we haven't been there since and, we moved here. Right. So we're gonna go down and get a Dole Whip. It's a treat. It's, it's like gluten free, dairy free, dairy free, dairy free, healthy free. No, so, healthy oh, full. healthy full. But we're trying to find. I realized that I really don't know where we're going in Saratoga Springs. I brought Sarah halfway across, like a half mile away from Carriage House. And I was like, oh, Disney Springs is over here. Nope, brought her right back to the Reedy Creek Fire Department. So now we're walking back towards now we know where Disney Springs is because it's a beautiful path. There's Sarah's entire life's love right there. Oh, mio. Excuse me. <laughs> Look really at this. That in Fantasmic. Yeah, that, if you put Fantasmic on one of those boats. If I could watch Fantasmic from, from one of those boats, oh my god, you would burst. I feel like I came up with the third thing that I that was like my other favorite. This skyline. It is to me, I'm very critical of skylines because I we're Chicago people and they have, it is the best skyline ever. But I will say, um this skyline's pretty good. Okay, I think we found them. So directly across from like the AMC where we quite often uh, venture to, but not tonight. Yep, this is it. Here's winter. Look at her. She's covered up. It's cold. It's breezy. She forgot her socks. And it's got blue tile with, with winter on it. Oh, little Mickey. And then over here, I'm going to presume, oh, we're going backwards. This is fall, autumn. What has she got in her hands? Grapes? Wow. Fertility. So she's got, yeah, she's got her harvest going on. She's got a bowl in her hand. I wonder what the bowl symbolizes. She also forgot her socks. She also forgot her socks and shoes. And like an orange tile. Over here, summer? Summer. Summer. She's got no hat. She's got roses and flowers. She's standing, what's that called? The golden ratio? Contrapasto. Contrapasto. She's standing contrapasto. Can you tell we were... We? You were an art student. I took a couple art classes. This is summer with blue or green tiles. Green tiles. And that only leaves spring with some yellow tiles. Ooh, there's spiders. There's a spider on her. So here's spring. What's so springy about you? What's that in your hand? Is that a scarf? Oh, it's... Is that wheat? Bread? It looks oh. like it's wheat. And she also forgot her socks and shoes. Well, Peter, like looking up stuff, like trying to find him today when he was like searching stuff about his run, he like looked up Saratoga Springs and it's a real place with real beautiful statues. So that's where they got the idea from. That's super cool. I can't wait to start telling everybody in the world about these. Oh 
no big deal. I just got uh, forgotten about because Sarah's over here watching our wedding video. <laughs> Look at that. The head is almost completely covering the phone, too. <laughs> I love it. It was just a great day. So just to prove what kind of torture we put ourselves through since we just got those dollops, we're gonna show you, take a lap and show you like all the menus real quick. So they are good. Look at that Benedict burger. I almost got the, Sarah almost talked me into getting the black and mahi sandwich. Cause it's like chicken. I mean it's fish, it's, it's healthier. Classic chicken nuggets. The chicken cordon bleu sounded good. Yeah, it's a plant based burger. Ooh, I would get that too. Avocado, arugula, tomato, barbecue sauce. And see, all these are come with two sides. So like $11.99 for Disney is not bad if you're getting two sides. And right here we got some pizzas. The chicken parmesan looks really good. And that's, so the meat, that's the meatball sub that I was talking about from the electric umbrella. And then you've got shrimp and goat cheese flatbread. Chicken bacon ranch flatbread and a buffalo chicken flatbread. Shrimp and goat cheese would be good. But that meatball, it's super good. They take the meatballs, they cover it in sauce, put it in the bread, put cheese on top, and then send it through an oven. They also have muscles here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's down there. The lime wine, wine butter. Oh, they're putting in a new stack of those fancy things too. Really quick. Flatbreads are like fairly, like they're not most healthy, but I feel like that's like a healthy option. Healthier. Oh, now this is another whole nother set of trouble too. Look at these muffins. Apple, apple tart, tart, pumpkin tart, brownie bites. And these are all snack bar, credits. Chocolate cake, whoopie pies. Ooh, there was only a handful earlier with this tie-dye cheesecake. Sarah's saying it's like what they're known for, but they've got regular, those are just plain, which I would love. I love just plain cheesecake. And look at these little cute cakes for celebration, but 23 bucks is outrageous. But I wish we can, uh, maybe Sarah, can you put in a photo you find offline? Sure. Of that tie-dye cheesecake? We have gotten questions about how we can eat healthy in the park since we're supposed to eat healthier. Here we've got some oranges and apples, fresh cut fruit. Over here we've got hummus, little side salads to go, hummus down there, carrots. Over here they actually have fresh fruits with the cereal for the breakfast area. You've got your neutral grain bars, cereal, and then down there your apples, bananas, and oranges. So we made one last pit stop in the, in the little merchandise store because it's right, it's between the lobby and the, the food court. We're looking at the 2018 stuff. So like your classic stuff of picture holders, Backpack, lanyard, photo frame, these cups. And I picked up this cup, like there's Mickey. This one is Minnie. I'm like, oh, that's super cute. It's a different style. It's like just like minimalist sketchy. And I turn around, 2018, the year to be here. Super cute. Pumpkins, they're so pumpkin-y, pom pom pumpkin-y. We're going to bed. We're mm -hmm. tired. Mm. It's funny, like, after going to Pop Century, I forgot about the run at Saratoga, so, like, I'm going, we're driving home, and I'm like, I'm so tired. I was like, why am I so tired? Like, oh, just went on a run. Mm -hmm. But look at this, we're trying to eat healthy, and I think this is fine because it's good quality. Like, there's an egg white grill in here, which is probably what I'll get. These are really good, so there's... We got two of these complimentary for January, February, and March for a complimentary breakfast from Chick-fil-A. Look okay, at, did you see I switched out our bow? <gasps> oh yeah. It's blue with white polka dots for January. For, like little, for the rest of winter. It's like snowflakes. Yeah. No, she has a different February one. Mm -hmm. I got her bows until August. And we already had some though. We rest. have from August to So we have December. the full 12 months now. Yep. Nice. Mm -hmm. We have a fashionable dog. Mm -hmm. Sleepy but fashionable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to go to bed. Um, it was a tiring evening and we have a late night tomorrow with yeah, our first Moonlight Moon Magic at Magic Kingdom. DVC Moonlight Magic. So I'm excited to see what kind of characters there are and I want a Mickey Premium Bar. We can have one. We decided that we were going to... We have one and we're thinking about a hot dog like without the bun. Or with the bun, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Ketchup is vegetables. <laughs> it's 
It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.